What's going on everybody? I'm back with another video. This is going to be an inside look on how you can use counter pressing in a narrow attacking structure against a low block to create more goal scoring opportunities in transition and how to maximize these concepts. So before we start, check out my book. It's online, it's on Amazon, and there's a link in the description below. Also be sure to follow my blog. There'll be a new article coming out this weekend on the blog. So that's Medium and both my book and the blog article. There's links in the description below. So be sure to check those out, but let's get right into it. So as Jurgen Klopp would say, a good counter press is better than any number 10 in the world and will create more chances for your team than any playmaker. So as we see here, a typical offensive structure that's really come to be a favorite among many teams is a 2-3 rest defense and with using the full width of the winger. So as we have this as a comparison, this isn't how we're going to attack to utilize a fast transition in terms of a defensive transition and a fast counter press. So now as we see, we're not using the full width of the field. Our winger comes into the half space and we're only utilizing four vertical corridors in our offensive shape and this allows us to create an overload around the ball and around the half space which is where we're going to target and where we're going to set up for a counter press. So our structure is very much still staggered but still we want to emphasize vertical actions when we have a narrow attacking structure and we're looking to use our counter press to target to create goal scoring opportunities. So as we see here, our center back is on the ball in the half space against the 4-5-1. We have occupation between the lines of pinning forward. Our number 10 is in the central of the field. So with our number 10 playing around zone 14 or this really dangerous zone at the top of the box, it puts him in a very good position to have a heavy influence on the goal scoring action as well as seal off outlets. We still use a 2-3 rest defense, but now it's very narrow with cover from our center backs in the central corridor and on, on the ball in the half space. Our winger on the near side is occupying full width. So our vertical actions will be crucial when talking about the connections being made going between the lines because when you're using a counter pressing system and using that as a heavy chance creation concept the key is you have vertical actions going forward so you lose the ball in advanced positions rather than give up possession and circulation so especially if your team is technically weaker it's better to lose the ball and higher up the field with more players behind the ball than it would be to lose the ball in circulation obviously so we lose possession here and now playing against a low block it's very hard for them to transition out into a meaningful offensive structure which is perfect for the the counter pressing system and now we have such a narrow attacking structure that it also narrows the defense and their 451 or 442 defensive block so by being even more narrow than a natural low block is it gives our offensive team the ability to move inward and seal off the outlets as we see we come in inside and position between two players typically in a counter pressing system the immediate outlets are cut off through man orientation and then our rest defense is sealing off the rest of the outlets in reference to the cover shadow of the pressing player and then using option orientation to close down multiple players. So as we see our 2-3 rest defense remains intact but very narrow and condensed which gives us a high spatial control with cover in behind and then our players are occupying space between two defenders as well as still maintaining access to these advanced spaces in behind. So when the ball is won, the ball can be played in behind. Our number 10 makes a run into the dangerous space in a vertical run at goal which will drive the defenders back towards their own goal creating a space between the defense and the midfielders for the cutback and then our weak side winger is able to get to this position because of his narrow positioning from the start of the offensive structure. So we tried to make it as cohesive as possible and the positioning of our wide midfielder to start playing very narrow actually aids him in getting into this dangerous position and being able to receive this cutback. And that's the analysis guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.